Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, the Aries Moon Girl channel. The topic today is around gifts for each individual sign. We're approaching Christmas in a few days and if you haven't done your shopping yet, this is a great opportunity for some last minute gift ideas. Or if you're watching this video after Christmas, these are always everlasting ideas of things that you could buy for each one of the zodiac signs. So let's get into this. Okay, so Aries, for the ever active, uh, ever uh, growing Aries, what I thought of as a great pe present would be, um, do you know one of these um, Fitbit watches, one of these uh, active fitness um, uh, trackers that would give them the possibility on the one hand to track their sports activities, but on the other hand, they could also uh, just feeling in control of their um, of their rhythm of their body. Um, Aries for Aries is very important that uh, that they keep um, a good body and uh, they kind of want to have things under control when it comes to their body. They feel really, um, really satisfied when they have a great body and you'll notice that Aries um, usually either are very active or they uh, take care, a great care of, of their diet as well. So that's for sure a great gift. Another idea for a gift would be and I'm going to show you this from my own personal uh, <laughs> objects that I have in the house as an Aries moon. It would be this guy, this bouncing ball. <laughs> this ball that they could use for fitness activities um, either at home or they could just sit on it at the desk. I think Aries, as I mentioned before, they, they really like to, to maintain active and keeping them locked into an office uh, might feel like a bit of a waste of time for them. So uh, <laughs> if you give them one of these balls and they can use it at work, they would really, really appreciate it. Another great gift that you could uh, buy for an Aries has to do with uh, self-growth and self-development. So um, maybe a book on uh, on self-development, uh, that could be an idea. I'm, I'm, I'm conscious that uh, there are different areas in which an Aries might want to develop, but one constant thing is true about Aries. Aries is all about growth and uh, uh, developing themselves so they definitely appreciate any help in this area. Taurus. What you can definitely give as a present to a Taurus is something that has to do with pampering themselves and with the five senses. You can never go wrong with sending them to a, a spa day to get a massage, to get a facial, to indulge in all those nice smells and the treatments and, um, and how, uh, how relaxing this is and how uh, this makes them feel. In case you don't manage to send them to the spa or they are not in the mood to go somewhere out of the house, you can buy them this type of products, this type of spa products, of uh, skin care, of massage oil. Um, for home, this is a Thai lemongrass massage, for example, uh, oil, and, and that's smelling delicious. Um, so this type of presents are anyways well well received always by a Taurus. The second type of product that you could buy has to do with fabrics. So Tauruses definitely love fabrics. So having, um, uh, buying them, I don't know, a, a nice pashmina that, that really feels well and uh, good on the skin and uh, caresses their skin. It's so important. The Tauruses are not vain about fashion. It's not necessarily the vain uh, type of fashion. It's the fashion that has to do with feeling good in uh, in what you're wearing. Uh, you can also buy them shoes, but they need to be really comfortable, nice shoes where they feel good in them. So everything that feels good on the skin and at the same time uh, makes them look good, that's always a great uh, gift for a Taurus. Gemini. What Gemini are into is training their mind, finding out new things, uh, discussing new topics. <laughs> they, they are uh, not like Aries who's looking for a physical challenge, but they are looking for a mental challenge. So 
Um, there are more things that you could buy for a Gemini. A Gemini. One a cute example is games. <laughs> um, and it's really the type of, of funny, quirky games where, uh, where they could play with friends, but that also kind of trains their mind and, uh, and they get into, into uh, a competition uh, with it. it. It shouldn't be a dull game. It should be something really, uh, really funny. Another gift for Gemini, as we're talking challenging the mind, is of course a book. Um, in thinking what type of book you should choose for, for a Gemini, I would uh, also go for something that's, um, as mentioned before, challenging. This is an example of, of a book that teaches you how to learn numerous languages in extremely a short amount of time and stay fluent forever. So it's it's the type the type of um, uh, challenge that it would really uh, work for a Gemini's mind that would like to know about it. Also, other types of books and maybe many people don't know this about Gemini, but they are. Uh, an air sign and spiritual type of book. So Gemini's, I think, in my opinion, are always in the search for themselves. So are always in the search for their deeper meaning, although uh, they don't show this to people. They show the funny side of themselves. So a book on spirituality and on spiritual growth could be also something very, uh, very good to give to a Gemini. Cancer. <laughs> Cancers are very sentimental people. So in case you're looking for something to give them, um, a nice idea would be to frame their favorite picture. Uh, look at the example that I have behind. Frame a family picture, frame a picture with them and their children, their mother, their father, their uh, loved ones, their close ones, um, or make a big poster out of that, um, or something sentimental. They would definitely uh, appreciate this because they care very much about the people that are very close to them. Other things that you could buy them, I, I, in my in my impression of cancers, is that they um, most of them like to spend time at home uh, and some of them really like to cook as well um, so I'm thinking like really a nice cookbook it doesn't need to be this one it can be also more fancy uh, fusion type of food but a cookbook is is something that would would belong into a nice home a home where where you feel um, cozy and uh, you can cook so definitely that's a that's a, a present Another present could be, I don't know, nice, um, nice porcelain. <laughs> um, also something that belongs into a very nice, cozy home. Um, something that enriches the atmosphere and uh, also allows you to serve uh, the loved ones and, and to indulge yourself while, while you're in your home. Leo. If you're wondering what you could buy for the most glamorous sign of the zodiac, you're probably not alone. Um, with Leo, is all about quality and grandeur in the, in the gestures that you're buying. So I would uh, suggest actually that if you're looking to buy a present for a Leo, experiences might be even more um, appreciated than uh, physical gifts. I mean we've experienced something um, really qualitative, dramatic, um, I don't know, maybe tickets to Cirque du Soleil, tickets to a, a, a concert of their favorite ar artist uh, or a musical or um, uh, taking them to, uh, I don't know, to the opera if they like it, but uh, something something dramatic and grand and uh, uh, envy uh, worthy <laughs> uh, is a good thing and an experience because Leos like to live life. So uh, they like to experience life very close to them and very dramatic also. Uh, yeah, theater, music, uh, all these type of experiences could never go wrong. Then if you're buying things for them uh, that are physical objects, then be very careful to buy only the best, the best quality. So uh, the best type of wine, for example, or um, and the best type of chocolates if you're buying chocolates. But it, it all needs to be refined and at the top. So it needs to be um, it needs to be glam. Jewelry is also a good, uh, good idea for women and also like 
uh, glamorous type of jewelry that uh, that makes them shine even more so um, be careful be careful don't go cheap but uh, go big and you'll not go wrong with it there it goes <laughs> if you're thinking of buying a gift for a Virgo you're probably thinking oh my god I shouldn't get this wrong <laughs> and uh, vertigos are pretty known for being very picky but there are a few areas where usually you cannot go wrong with a Virgo one of these areas is health and nutrition so if you buy them a book on nutrition, on eating healthy, on uh, eating clean and feeling good uh, in your body and taking care of your body, you cannot go wrong with that. If you buy them, uh, uh, let's say a juicer or a Nutribullet uh, to make juices and live healthy and clean, uh, you cannot go wrong with that. And then we're going to another territory. You can always buy them a book on their interest if you know about that. Or you could buy them that one little quirky thing that they are into and only you know about that and then uh, this will be really appreciated. So pay attention what, what they like. I don't know. If they have... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to give you a silly example, but if they like sewing machines, uh, you can buy them a, a clock that's in the form of sewing machine. Or if they collect something, uh, buy them uh, that little small something that they are interested in. And um, don't forget, Vir Virgos are very much into the details. So um, whatever detail thing you have noticed that they like, Please be careful and buy them exactly that. Okay, now we're on to Libras. And as you might know from all the astrological descriptions, Libras are the sign of beauty. They are also uh, ruled by Venus. And uh, in this case, it's really important that you show good taste because Libras, if there's one thing uh, that Libra has, that's good taste. So, you can always go for something that has to do with the senses, as in the a type of uh, gift for Taurus. So, scented candles is something really, really nice. Just that with Libras, it becomes a bit more abstract. It's not so direct anything uh, necessarily. Of course, you can buy them beauty products, so makeup um, and things like that. But, uh, in case we're talking about the man also, um, aesthetics things for the house like nice looking electronics or nice looking art for the house that's that's really really in good taste and in Libra taste that's that's a good thing always and um, other things that you can think of are also um, maybe a nice brunch somewhere with uh, fabulous food and uh, uh, delicatessen uh, type of, uh, of snacks. Um, Libras uh, know how to enjoy uh, social company and at the same time know how to enjoy the beautiful things in life. So you can never go wrong for a, a Libra with beauty. What to buy, what to buy for a mysterious Scorpio? <laughs> well, the answer is in this question, uh, a mystery. <laughs> uh, Scorpios, as I said in my uh, previous video, are not superficial people. They, uh, they care to go deep into things and solve mysteries and solve problems and understand things and put a puzzle together and their mind works like that. So uh, I would recommend buying them a book. Um, something like this one would be a good example. Uh, a, either a criminal story or a spy or a secret agent story or something dark where they could go into and solve uh, the mystery for themselves. As you may know, Scorpios are also interested in uh, deeper matters of the soul and understanding human beings. So esoterics is something where uh, a lot of uh, Scorpios show interest, even if some of them don't talk about it. Um, so I would recommend maybe something that has to do with that, an esoteric uh, book, but also maybe tarot. Tantra tarot here <laughs> could be a good, uh, a good type of gift because it combines two areas that are of interest for a Scorpio. But definitely something that helps with self-discovery and discover the core of uh, one. Next sign on Santa's list are Sagittarius. 
And one thing that is good about Sagittarius is that they are interested in everything under the sun. <laughs> The only challenge here is that it needs to be intellectually challenging. It doesn't need to be something trivial. So, knowing this about them, one thing that you can never go wrong with a Sagittarius is a nice, beautiful, well-crafted, intellectually challenging book. Sagittarius are interested in history, in philosophy, in religion, sometimes even in esoterics, they are interested in everything that the humanity created at an intellectual level. So you can never go wrong with, with, a, with a book on these broader topics that, uh, that affect all of us and uh, humanity. Ah, yeah, and politics. Politics is another good subject. If your Sagittarius is not keen on staying at home this Christmas, then the other way to go is to buy them a trip. <laughs> buy them a trip to an exotic place, buy them a trip to a city, buy them a cultural trip, uh, make them experience something new. Uh, as I mentioned for Leos, here it's even more important uh, that you give Sagittarius an experience. And uh, Sagittarius values everything that has to do with learning something new and learning about new cultures, about new traditions, new ways of uh, organizing society, new. So the more exotic and far away you can travel with them, the better. But also they would just appreciate uh, a city tour uh, for a weekend uh, where they could uh, visit around and uh, visit maybe some museums, but also have fun and go out and party. So definitely if you can afford a trip or at least a weekend trip, that's the perfect gift to give to a Sagittarius. What to buy for a Capricorn? Well, one thought comes to mind when I'm saying this, and I don't know if it's the usual thought that you would have about a Capricorn, but it's go big or go home. <laughs> Capricorns are really great admirers of quality and luxury. They are usually high achievers and the gifts that they're expecting for themselves or the things that they would buy for themselves anyways are high achievers gifts. So. If you're thinking of buying something for a male Capricorn, keep in mind that usually Capricorns are so big into tech, into technical things, into surround systems, into music systems, into phones, into watches. So you can never go wrong, for example, if you buy them uh, the newest technology that they are really looking forward to. Uh, a Capricorn male house would be the typical, you know, white type of house, uh, um, just decorated with the with the newest technology, and uh, that would make them uh, the happiest. Or if you want to uh, uh, to go for something more practical day to day, you can buy them a, a watch, uh, but a high class watch, please. Um, uh, this is the child of Kronos, so I don't know why, but usually Capricorns uh, really value watches very, much, watches very much, so you can never go wrong with that. If you're buying for a woman, though, you might need to, uh, to adapt it a bit in case they are not so much into uh, tech, so you just need to keep the luxury still there but uh, transfer it to uh, products like perfumes that are, um, are also expensive perfumes or uh, uh, cosmetics or, or things that have to do with, uh, with personal care, but that also show that there's, that there's a lot of, uh, of investment behind it. Jewelry might also be, uh, be good. It depends very much on their taste, but it sh shouldn't be something very flashy. They are they have a very um, fine sense, sense of style and they are usually very well dressed and very well accessorized as well. So uh, watch out for the jewelry. It needs to be something very, very classy for, uh, for a Capricorn lady. Aquarius. There are two things about Aquarius. One is that they are highly intelligent people. And the second one is that they are highly unconventional, which uh, brings us to a bit of a issue. 
what to buy <laughs> in this case for an Aquarius. It's, it's not the easiest to be highly intelligent and unconventional in your gift. So um, you need to really pay attention also to their interests. So there might be a, um, Aquariuses out there that are interested in things that have to do with the internet and tech. And I really believe a lot of people that are Aquariuses have to do with things that have to do with technology, internet and all this progressive stuff that's bringing our life forward now in the age of Aquarius. So if they are into that, I would suggest maybe a programming book um, which could uh, raise them int their interest and uh, make them learn a new skill. Another thing that Aquariuses are interested in is humanity and what could we do to improve humanity. I'm thinking of giving you an example of a book uh, that's a bit unconventional that, that could raise the interest of, a, of an Aquarius and that's uh, the biography of uh, a philosopher that has survived uh, Auschwitz. Uh, this, type, this, this type of interesting topics that make you think differently about the world and about what uh, humanity means and uh, what individual bring, uh, people can bring to the table, that's something that would reflect very much an Aquarius way of thinking. So I think Aquariuses are usually into environmental causes as well. So uh, if you can bring them something to read uh, uh, on that or if you can uh, involve yourself in something like that or donate something or bring their attention to, uh, to uh, some actions like this and, uh, and as a gift actually give them this experience, I think that will also be highly valued and a non-conventional type of gift that an Aquarius would uh, actually appreciate. And we're on to the last sign, the sign of Pisces. And I'm a Pisces, we're in luck, we're going to crack this. <laughs> what I would love to get and what most of my Pisces friends would love to get, and I don't know if uh, this is common knowledge for everyone, but I'm going to reveal this mystery again. I reve revealed it in a previous uh, uh, video of mine as well in five steps how to make a Pisces love you. Pisces are pretty childish people. Um, they like the sweet, quirky, childish things. So, something that I still have as a grown woman in my house that my husband still buys for me are things like this. <laughs> and I care deeply for them and I would never give them away. And I know other Pisces as well who uh, who receive this uh, this type of toys and uh, and really care for them that has to do on the one hand with the fact that we're um, childish but then also we're also very sentimental so we want something that's from the heart and from you i also have things that are small little things that are quirky like this so this is for example something that i received from my husband that it's a toothbrush holder i love it i absolutely adore having these things uh, this were to put uh, to put my money <laughs> um, small little stuff that's sentimental and has a sentimental value for the Pisces and if it's cute as well you can never go wrong with that another thing which I mentioned in my uh, five steps to uh, make a Pisces love you video is that we love amusement parks as well not even amusement parks we love Disney World so <laughs> the fairy tale world we, we love being in a fairy tale so if you can take them to a winter wonderland or to uh, a disney world park or to a wonderful winter uh, experience um, that's that's fairy tale like they will definitely uh, appreciate this maybe take them ice skating somewhere very nice okay and the last one has to do with um, um, arts as well. So we love music, we love cinema, and we love stories. So everything that has to do with this cannot be amiss. So if you buy them their favorite movie or uh, um, a fairy tale type of movie or take them to a fairy tale type of movie, they will uh, appreciate this experience enormously. Or if you buy them a book with 
with a lovely story uh, that's uh, that's taking them uh, to a dream world that's that's definitely another experience that the Pisces can usually appreciate okay so I think we've done all the signs I hope this really helps you out uh, please subscribe down below uh, for more videos to come also in the new year and um, please let me know how the how the gifts went and if if, uh, if people uh, that you know admired the gifts or if you have any other gift ideas for each individual sign please also let me down uh, know down below this will be of great help for everyone that's uh, in need of some advice 